That's where I would throw those things, things in. You can't eat chicken breast, broccoli, and rice your entire time and think you're going to get where you're going to get. Yeah. It's just not going to work, guys. You know, good luck with that. You'll get. Oh, and um, I was just talking to. I'm sorry. I'm your name again? I'm, I just blanked out. Rusty. Um, she just clarified that brown rice and white rice is very similar. So the difference is white rice is white. <laughs> <laughs> brown rice is brown. White rice is brown rice. Bigger, but not much. Muscular difference. I mean, because that's what the magazines, you know, portray white rice to be. Don't eat, you know, only after a workout. Well, white rice is going to be faster absorbed than that brown rice just because the, the fiber's not there, you know. But then in the long run, you're probably, hit, you know, healthier eating, you know, the more fiber in your diet with the brown rice, you know, maybe a few extra B vitamins in there too, you know. When you're in the off season, you're probably better off just eating, you know, eating the brown. But, you know, if you're trying to really gain some weight, you're going to need the fastest absorbing type of calories you can get. And that white rice is high, high, high glycemic and it's fast absorbing. I'm, 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 you know, obviously mad generation, so white rice for us is like um, French fries to America, you know? I mean, we eat white rice basically from morning to night, but when I diet, I switch from white to brown rice. Are you, okay, uh, and another question. Where do you guys, because okay. I know you spend like a hundred, you know, several hundred dollars just on rice in a week, I bet. What? Where do you get the like the big bags of rice? I'll sell you rice at that price. I'll sell you rice at that price. 
Uh, Thirteen dollars for twenty kilos for forty-five pounds. Uh, you won't eat where, where is this at? Is it somewhere? That's in a Jackson, Jackson maybe. Costco. Oh no, you can go to any. any Sam's Club. Any, no. See, I've gone to Costco and they only have the white rice. They got like large rice. rice. They have brown rice too. Yeah, but how do you cook it? How do I, how you, I cook it? I mean, I cook it in a rice cooker. Does I mean, it, brown rice takes about like forty-five minutes? No, no, no. I cook it in the rice cooker. It takes longer than the white rice, but it takes not quite much though. In the rice cooker, it takes probably about thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. <laughs> but nothing like that. That pre-packaged. No, I I only really use the Uncle Ben's. You mean? Oh, that's yes. the microwave. I use that when I travel. Because it's the easiest way. You know, you don't want to. You know, I mean, you cook the rice, you bring it in a Tupperware after a couple of hours. You know, you open that thing up two times and it's done. So that white, that rice, you just throw it in the microwave 30 seconds. I do that when I travel. Put it home and never. Do you season it with anything? I mean, what kind of seasonings do you guys like? I, I like, like chili, red pepper, black pepper, and salt. Yes. <laughs> what do you guys think about, um, I remember they used to start talking about uh, Oh, yeah. Are you talking about that oil? Oil stuff? I mean, yeah. 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 I have no idea. And the other thing is, is that a lot of times when I'm looking at magazines, right, I have a concept. And they always have these before and after. They actually do that. I can go on record and say, you know, I know which ones you're talking about. Um, so uh, they actually do do the uh, before and afters. Uh, talk to There's a kid. like no, no computer. Man. No, I talked to a kid today who uh, they actually hired these guys under contract to do before and afters. And they, they make you get up to some crazy looking off season weight. And uh, they basically want to do your after after you hit a show. So there's there's validity to it. You know, I don't know as far as how much airbrushing, brushing, but I know they, they, they really do have those individuals. I speak to them all the time. I did some of them too before, before and after pictures, and of course you wait till you're in your heaviest off season and then you do, you know, particular shots or exercises where they, you know, you try to make yourself look even fatter, you know, by sticking out the stomach and stuff like that. And then you come back when you're in contest shape, and then that's just the after picture, you know. And like, you know, like in the movie, um, what is it, bigger, stronger, faster? Oh yeah. Do you guys, what do you guys think of that movie? I didn't see it. It's it's yeah. documentation of yeah. Love stuff, man. Documentary. A lot of people's opinions. It's, yeah. Yeah. But is it truthful for the most part, or? Well, which part? <laughs> like um, yeah. like the supplement yeah. part, yeah. where they can put like proprietary blend. Oh yeah. 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 Like 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 Dr. Scott Stevens said, just because it's proprietary, doesn't mean you know they're gonna tell you everything in it. They don't have to. They just tell you it's in it. They don't say in what amounts. You, you look at a lot of stuff you guys are taking right now that says proprietary blend. Oh, I stopped taking of like, a lot of it. Now. <laughs> it's a whole column of stuff. And it could be 1% of every, everything on there, but because it's in there, they can put it on that. I have a question. It sounds like, if I'm hearing this right, that you guys do not take a lot of this pre workout stuff, post workout stuff, this commercial stuff that comes in the buckets. I call them buckets. <laughs> you don't do that. Is that well, what I'm well, understanding? Well, uh, so we supplement. We, we, yeah, we supplement. We, like I said, you know, food. Pre workout, I use some amino acids. Right. Post workout, I use my protein shake, you know, with some glutamine and some added carbs, you know, and that's basically it. That's my pre and post workout shake. Right. Like the special shakes, what they offer, you know, different companies, it's basically the same thing. You know, you know, it's something that you can very easily put together yourself if you want to. You know, but if you don't have the uh, you know the options to buy yourself this 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 protein and, and glutamine from this company, where you choose, it, you just buy it in ready drinks, which is basically that contains you know the glutamine, the amino acids, and a uh, little bit of carbs and protein in it. You know, but we do use stuff like that. It's just a marketing ploy, really. You know, if you if you break it down to its lowest level, it's all marketing. If they can change something to make it more appealing to you guys, you're gonna want it. That's where these NO2 enhancers come on the market like by storm. And the first thing you hear when you talk to some dude is like, so what do you think about those nitrous oxide enhancers? I'm like, well, no, what I'm thinking, I can't tell you because I don't use them. What I'm thinking is, is his hypoglycemia is due to some of the SHIT that they put in that <laughs> CRAP. <laughs> <laughs> you might be yeah, that's why I keep my sneakers in the pocket. Excuse me? That's why I keep my sneakers in the pocket. 
Snickers. <laughs> For me not to go hypoglycemic. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, they, a lot of the stuff hasn't improved. And like, you see the labels, it says these have not been uh, approved by the FDA to treat exactly. or cure. You know, and you've got to take it at face value. That's what it is. You're, you're, you're playing with your health, basically, 